Thank you very much. Um, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, it's a pleasure for me to give a few words to this meeting. And in particular, I want to like to thank Arnaud for, inspired, for the inspired um, generation of this meeting 14 years ago. And the topics have changed, and um, they are more important, I think, from meeting to meeting. Um, one of the big issues for universities, um, aside from generating scientific results, which is um, what you call the truth that you're publishing as publishers, um, publishing, of course, is an important part of academia. It's an important part of society also because the um, observation that we make in recent years is that society, in, in, in a general sense, has less trust in what science, what academia produces. And that's a, um, a big problem, I think, for universities, for all academic institutions. Um, one of the ways to go about it, there are several ways to go about it. One is um, to include diversity, inclusion. You talked about that before. Um, another one, and I'm really convinced about that, is open access to scientific results. Now, open access has been an issue um, for the last couple of years. There have been negotiations in, in Germany and the deal um, part contract. and. Um, we haven't really gotten to a full conclusion yet. I think there's been insight by some of you, not by all of you. And actually, I call upon Elsevier of going um, to the issue with reasonable suggestions. Reasonable would mean we would publish and read. That's our concept, and not publish and pay twice or three times from public money, um, as we've done so far. Um, I think it is really not just a side point, it's important, and the universities in Germany have come together about, I think there are 200 universities in the deal negotiations. Um, there is the Berlin University Alliance that just recently formed, and we are firmly um, behind the idea of open access. It's also the state of Berlin. Several states have um, put forward um, decisions about the state of Berlin wants to publish 60% of the scientific publications by 2020, I think. Um, in open access journals, whichever form of open access. I think um, there's a way to um, finance this also. I think it's not about not wanting to pay as far as um, the scientists go, um, but it has to be reasonable. It has to be um, a deal. That's um, what we think. And rest assured that the universities will not change their positions as far as this goes. I've read with interest about the Coalition S, which put forward the plan S. It's a Coalition S is a um, group of 16, I believe, funding agencies throughout Europe. Um, they have ambitious goals. I'm not quite sure whether all of these goals can be achieved or should be achieved. This is something to be found out in the next <clears throat> few years or months, probably. Um, but nevertheless, the um, intention, the, the urge with which the scientists um, following up on open access is strong. So there'll be many topics at this conference, platforms or pipelines. There'll be the question about scientific, about the value of scholarly communications. I think it's also about the value of research. The universities and academia has to show, has to prove that their research results are of value. They have to have a mechanism that works well, identifying scientific fraud and identifying um, together with the publishers to um, a certain extent um, to find out, to make sure that what we do publish, what we do present as scientific results in the end is believable and will be believed by society because all of us, publishers and scientists, live from the trust of the scientific, of the society in the scientific community. I'm glad that you're here, and I think I understand this is an open conference where you can address the issues openly, and um, please do so. Um, come into um, talks with each other, and I wish you a successful conference. Thank you very much.